The tombstone glitch may be getting patched when season 3 drops, so let's quickly go over how to use it to unlock all dark ether schematics. Let's see if we can glitch this video up to 141 likes to help my channel grow, and if you're new around here, then join our zombie family by tapping that subscribe button with bell notifications turned on so you never miss out on any new Season 3 glitches. Essence can help turn any difficult challenge into a cakewalk by using it to buy all the best gear, perks, and score streaks. You can check out my Max Essence video in the description. First thing you'll want to do is have all squad mates buy the tombstone perk and loot any old tombstone you have set up until it crumbles. Only one player needs to bring in items that can help complete Dark Aether contracts, and that player will also want a decent pile of essence. Then all players will need to leave the squad so that they're all solo, and then the player with the items and essence will need to get downed, bleed out, and plea. Once that player is revived, the tombstone is set, so they can now share the items and essence with the other two players who will need to set up their own tombstone. This will allow all players to have the exact same items and essence in the next match. Are you looking to unlock the new zombie schematics, or maybe you want to unlock mastery camos, then you'll want to check out my sponsor, MitchCactus.com. They offer safe and legitimate surfaces for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC, and they also offer instant delivery on pre-made accounts. They have over 10,000 positive reviews on Trustpilot from happy customers, so check the link in the description and use the code PEXI to get 5% off. Once all three tombstones have been set, all players will need to get eliminated, and you can do this quickly by driving into the Out of Bounds. Now have the players rejoin your team, and then bring your favorite weapon into the game. You can check out my video in the description if you want to see my favorite weapon for this season, and let me know yours in the comments. Now loot the tombstone items, and at this point select a player who will be the tombstoner. This player will want to use as little items as possible so that they can set up a new tombstone with those items after completing the Dark Aether contracts. Now buy anything you need to survive inside the Dark Aether like self-revives and perks. Make sure all players buy the tombstone perk in case you all get eliminated inside the Dark Aether. Then use an Elder Sigil on any Dark Aether portal and all players can head inside. Once in the Dark Aether, give any items you want in the next match to the Tombstoner account. The other players can use any items they wish since the Tombstoner account will have duplicates inside their inventory for the next game. Now start farming contracts to get the rewards, and if you need any help in the Dark Aether, then feel free to join our Discord in the description. Once you have completed all three contracts, drop all the essence for the Tombstoner account to grab, and then the other two players will need to exfil from the game. The Tombstoner account will need to wait until it says each player has left the match, and then they can get eliminated. A Tombstone will be waiting at the cemetery in the next match with all the items and essence they died with. This is how you can save schematics to share with other players and keep a Tombstone with a big pile of essence. The other two players will unlock any schematics they find and will keep any items they exfil with, but keep in mind the Tombstoner will lose their insured weapon each time. You can repeat the same pattern over and over by having all three players set up a new Tombstone, which will help save each player from using their schematics. You can quickly unlock all Dark Aether schematics in just a few hours using this exploit, and you won't need to use up any stash items or schematics, which can be very useful for all players. If you need any help with this glitch, then you can try asking in the comments, or try asking in our Discord. Hopefully this video has helped you guys out, and if you made it this far, then say the secret word, Happy Bunny Day, in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, God bless, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!